This video explains how to fix your printer when you see a carriage jam error message on your computer or on the printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Do not remove jam paper at this time but begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Remove the duplexer. To do this, we first need to locate the buttons to unlock the duplexer from the printer. Push the buttons inward and pull out on the duplexer. Check the rear area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the rear of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Squeeze the tabs on the rear of the duplexer to lower the cover. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the cover. Reattach the duplexer. Gently push the duplexer back into the rear access area until it snaps into place. Do not press the buttons on the end of the accessory while you reattach it. If you cannot remove the paper jam from the back, we will attempt to remove it from the paper trays. Turn to the front again. Raise the paper output tray and extend the paper input tray. Grasp any jam paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Push the input tray in and lower the output tray. Lift the printer off of tray 2. Remove any jammed paper from the bottom of the printer or from tray 2. Reattach the printer to tray 2. Open the carriage access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all of the small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper 
to prevent future paper jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed the paper, close the carriage access door. Turn to the back again. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Plug the power cord back in. Turn to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Next, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the carriage access door. On the control panel, touch Change Printhead. The carriage should move to the printhead access area on the far left side. The printhead can be damaged if the carriage is not all the way to the left when performing this step. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Turn to the front. While the carriage is on the left side, look inside the printer and check for obstructions in the far right side of the carriage path. You might need a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Reach inside the printer through the carriage access area and then manually move the carriage to the right and then back to the left. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If you find any obstructions while moving the carriage, remove them. With the carriage in the print head access area on the far left side of the carriage path, lift the print head latch. Lift the print head handle and then pull the print head out of its slot. Repeat these steps to remove the second print head. Do not leave the print heads out of the carriage for more than five minutes. This may damage the print heads. Check inside and around the carriage for any debris or bits of paper. If any obstructions are found, remove them. Reinsert each printhead into its color-coded slot. Press down firmly to ensure proper contact. The label on the printhead must match the label on the printhead latch. Close the printhead latch. You may have to apply some pressure to engage the latch. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the carriage access door. Turn to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, Touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow 
until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from any power strips or surge suppressors. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. And then plug it back into the printer. Move back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Perform a power reset by first removing all the paper in the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 30 seconds. It is important to wait the full 30 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Move back to the front. If the printer does not turn on by itself, Press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.